Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lay Designer, and today we are back with another speculation video where I would like to share some of my thoughts with you about the future of Planet Zoo and the future packs. This obviously is just my personal opinion, and you may have a completely different one, so feel free to share your thoughts and ideas with us in the comments down below. So, this video also is pretty much a follow-up of the video that I made last year. How likely is it that we are going to see flying birds and full aquatic animals in Planet Zoo? And I'm not going to lie, back then I was actually still very, very hopeful of both type of animals being added into the game. But now, a year after that video, but also like four years after launch of the game, I really start to have my doubts if this is actually it and there won't be any big surprises like flying birds, castamy berries or full aquatic animals with aquariums left. Now before we dive more into all this we should mention that there seems to be a limit that the maximum amount of animals of the game is 2 Hundred. I remember this rumor from the first year after launch, but it's now actually kind of being verified by data miners that there is no more space than 200 animals in the data. So if Frontier doesn't change this, this could one, mean that Frontier's probably aiming to add 200 animals in total in the game, but two, this would also mean that when the game is completely finished with development, there won't be a way for us to add extra animals to the game with mods. Probably the only option to then play with mods is by replacing certain animals with mods, which would obviously be such a pity because I'm pretty sure that modders can really keep the game going once Frontier is completely done with development. But let's hope that Frontier will maybe just open up this amount of animals when they are completely done with development so people will be able to continue adding animals with mods in the future as well. But okay, let's say 200 animals is indeed the maximum amount of animals Frontier is planning to add in total to the game. We right now have, like including the latest Grasslands pack, 153 animals in total in the game. So that includes habitat animals and exhibit animals. That leaves us with 47 animals still to add. So how long is Frontier going to keep making packs for Planet Zoo? It's a bit of a tricky question, but as of right now, looking at like the annual reports of Frontier, it looks like they will add at least four more packs this year and maybe two more in 2024. That is what we kind of are guessing at this point. So it looks like we will see at least six more packs and if they do very well, like who knows, maybe Frontier will extend this with a few more packs later on, but I really wonder if that really is going to happen if nothing spectacular like birds or aquariums will be added during that time. So okay, like 47 animals divided over 6 potential packs would leave us with 7.8 animals per pack. So, so say around 7 to 8 animals per pack, somewhere around that. Which would actually not be a super weird amount of animals per pack if these would all be animal packs from now on. Although I doubt if that is really going to be the case that we from now on will only see animal packs dropping to add all these extra animals in the game. Like, as I am a big fan of building myself, I also really doubt if this would keep me excited in the game for the rest of the coming years, as building packs always like trigger and motivate and inspire me to jump into the game again and try some new things out. But that being said, I obviously would be super excited if these animal packs will include like these flying birds and full aquatic animals and maybe just a handful of pieces and a free update to build these aquariums and aviaries. That would definitely change my opinion about animal packs in general, obviously. But now with the new walkthrough exhibits for the fruit bats and the butterflies, it does leave like a door open for Frontier to add maybe some smaller birds into these exhibits or maybe they are working on like bigger walkthrough exhibits for bigger birds as well or like different type of shapes of exhibits and those kind of things. Like I'm honestly just thinking out loud like 
I feel like it could become a thing, but something inside me just feels like after four years of development, it's a bit too late now to be adding these type of things after not doing anything <laughs> for the past few years. But who knows? Maybe they just really had a hard time the past years to make these things like a walkthrough exhibit, flying bats, butterflies, and, and like the potential birds. So yeah, maybe there is still a little bit of hope that it just took them a lot longer to make it all work like who knows time will tell i guess we are now a year later after the wetlands animal pack release in april 2002 and after that we actually have not seen any semi or obviously full aquatic animals which to me feels like the most easiest thing to do comparing to like the semi aquatic animals because like it only needs a few adjustments of how to be able to enter a full aquatic habitat for a keeper and like the animations on the animals being being fully aquatic and just leaving out the land and the walking part. I mean, for some animals, they really did nail the deep diving animation, so it should definitely not be any issue for them, I feel like. But, but <laughs> like for some reason, also looking at what they did in Jurassic World Evolution 2, this just doesn't feel like a too far fetch for Frontier to dive into. But I'm obviously not a game developer, so it's easy for me <laughs> to say these kind of things, but I should not underestimate how hard these things actually are to develop for a game. But I don't know. Looking at the experience they have with Jurassic World Evolution 2, all the deep diving animals there, the full aquatic animals there, I just really feel like they have the right knowledge and technology for it and it still feels like such a missed chance and missed opportunity to not be adding full aquatic animals in the game which also just by the way counts for flying birds i mean the aviaries the flying animals in jurassic world evolution 2 look definitely really cool and i can only imagine this looking even more amazing in pan too once they implement these type of animals so yeah is the fact that we have not seen any semi-aquatic animals in the past year maybe a hint that the next pack will include either semi-aquatic animals or even full aquatic animals? I can only say I really hope so because in all honesty, and I don't know how about you guys, but for me the semi-aquatic animals are still the most fun animals to build habitats for and I really just enjoy seeing them walking and swimming around in my habitats. I absolutely love these type of animals and I really noticed the past year with all the other packs that I just don't enjoy them that much as packs with aquatic animals. But this is obviously just very personal. Although you can even tell with like the player count history on SteamDB that the latest highest peak of players since 2022 also was with this wetlands animal pack and looking at the packs before that you can tell that in general i feel like there were more active players over the year 2021 compared to all player peaks with the packs that launched after the wetlands animal pack so right over here for example like this in 2020 december was the aquatic pack then right over here, you have the Southeast Asia Animal Pack, which actually did a lot better than I thought. Like, it's not my most favorite pack, but that shows that my opinion can be completely different from your opinion. Like, obviously, this is a lifetime player account. This also doesn't maybe resemble all the players, but I think this is a good reference to just have a look at. So after uh, the Southeast Asia Animal Pack, we right over here had the Africa Pack, then it went down a little tiny bit with the North America Animal Pack. Here was in December the Europe Pack. And then right over here you can see the latest highest peak was the Wetlands Animal Pack. After that we had in June the Conservation Pack, the Twilight Pack in October, and right over here the Grassland Animal Pack. And these three latest packs do not really top the packs that we have seen before, even though these were also a little bit lower they still feel like they did a lot better than the previous three packs so yeah looking at this this pretty much resembles exactly my feeling about the packs for some reason so i was very excited about this pack okay this one doesn't match <laughs> the aquatic pack southeast asia pack and then the packs in 2021 were also really good i did really like these packs and then the wetlands animal pack came and after that my excitement slowly went down 
So I'm just very curious how you guys feel about that. Like the difference isn't much, but you can tell there is a little bit of a decline in interest in general in the game with with the latest packs, I guess. So yeah, it's it's really going to depend what kind of packs Frontier has in store for us for 2023 and 2024. Like I do really feel like they have to come with a big surprise and like this big game changer soon to make sure a bunch of players that have now pretty much left the game because most animals added are all pretty much of the same type of animals that we already have, like to motivate and inspire these people to come back and play the game again. And in all honesty, I really feel like that's not going to happen if we continue this next coming year with the same type of packs that we have seen with the previous three packs. But yeah, we obviously could debate if flying birds and full aquatic animals like, for example, a manatee, shark, sea turtle, seahorse, octopus, manta ray, sea stars, crabs, beautiful big and small fish and colorful corals, some of which are obviously in some type of exhibit then, maybe even a walkthrough exhibit with underwater tunnels, are... Are these the big game changers that people are waiting for and would that make a bunch of people return to the game? For me personally, it really feels like this is pretty much the only thing I really would love to see added still into the game. Like, yeah, we, we could add another type of bear, a dog or a wolf type animal or like another monkey, another primate, some hoofed animals, another kangaroo, maybe a big or a small cat, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> And surely there will be people being extremely excited seeing a red river hog added or a wolverine or like a attacking being added into the game. But does this really count for the majority of people and will it really bring a lot of players back into the game with these type of animals? I really have my doubts about that, but, but I would love to hear your thoughts about this as well, of course, in the comments down below. But yeah, at, at this point, I'm not really going to be guessing what the next pack is going to be. You guys by now know <laughs> what I hope it will be, but also my thoughts about how likely it is that we will be seeing these things added into the game. Like, all I can say is I really just hope Frontier will not let us down the coming year, but I also really feel like I should be a little bit more real realistic and think to myself, there might actually not be any big game changer left in the big secret hat of Frontier other than adding animals looking similar like the animals that we already have in the game like mentioned earlier with maybe one or two uh, like, a, like a sloth for example would be a very interesting one or like a walrus. I would absolutely love to see walrus in the game. But yeah, the biggest mistake I've made over the past year was definitely hoping for that big expansion pack adding tons of game-changing elements and tons of animals and a bunch of super cool different animals which just never came so yeah turning my hopes down and just going with the flow now and see what else they will have in store for us is in my opinion just the best thing to do so yeah, we are going to wait and see if Frontier is able to wind up at least my excitement for the coming year with their new packs, of which I think actually the next pack will be announced in just a few more weeks from now. I am expecting to hear something about a free update maybe somewhere next week in between like the 20th of March and the 24th of March, maybe something about a free update and then the week after, so maybe the 27th or in between the 27th to the 31st of March somewhere in that range maybe something about a new pack and then the launch day will probably be the first week of April but this could be like uh, change like a, a few days or a few weeks I, I, I think something like that but I, I can only guess so we just have to <laughs> see but it doesn't take much longer from now but yeah do let me know in the comments down below what your feelings are about the future of Planet Zoo what kind of packs you think we will see and what what kind of packs you hope you will see. Are you, as me, feeling a little bit disappointed in the type of packs over the past year and, and especially like the past three packs? Or are you like, lady, <laughs> you're crazy. The packs over the past year were just incredible. Do let me know in the comments down below. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And yeah, I just really do hope to see you guys on the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye guys!